those of you who have watched this channel before know that I like to use a wide variety of cameras and something I have learned over the years that it isn't necessarily the most expensive camera that always gets you the result you want or perhaps what I should say sometimes a cheaper camera can get excellent results and medium format folding cameras are excellent I think especially those like the Zeisses and Vortlanders and you needn't spend a fortune, you can spend a fortune on a Bronica or Hasselblad and you might and the Rolly Flats and they are fantastic cameras and they do give you an edge I think but sometimes a folding camera like this one here can be a really good thing to use and folding cameras were very popular before and after the war and this is an example of something called a Bowder and it's a Bowder Baudatz it was produced in about 1955 to 59 made in West Germany originally the company was located near Dresden but after the war had to relocate and Balder produced a variety of range of cameras which had were heavy on the features but slightly cheaper than the likes of Zeiss and Vortlander and you could argue that the quality might not be quite up to again Vortlander and Zeiss however and they were inclined to put faster lenses on and there's a lot of discussion whether these lenses are any good or were just basically let's try to give, give the fastest lens we've got and sell it on that so this camera I picked up it's not in the best of conditions to be honest and if you look at it it's slightly rusty at the front here um, and I actually picked it up in what is called a junk auction. I belong to something called the Photographic Collectors Club, which I would really recommend. Um, again, I'll try to remember to put a link in. We have a fantastic fair in May called Photographica. But the Photographic Collectors Club has regional branches and I was at a meeting in the South West and we have what is called a junk auction. And in the junk auction, you often get bits of photographic equipment that don't work. Some works, but it's a bit of a lucky dip. And I bought a box of cameras and in it was this. And I, I could see why, um, I think it came from a dealer, um, and you could tell why it might not be if you were selling this it's a bit of a risk because it does look a bit ropey um, however I tried it and I looked at the lens and it was clean I couldn't see any fungus in it and I tried the shutter and the shutter worked and I put in a film and it came out and I'm going to talk about it in a little bit but let's talk about this camera first so as I said it's a um, folding camera and you simply um, press this button here to bring out the lens we do have a 3.5 now 3.5 for people who are used to the fast cameras on modern digital cameras and modern film cameras um, 3.5 was actually quite fast for a um, medium format camera so um, they were normally about even a 4.5 was quite fast so 3.5 is fast lens so we've got a 3.5 75mm lens here we've got shutter speeds from B to 300th of a second we've got that added bonus of a range finder now a range finder is a focusing device <coughs> and they were very popular to help people focusing um, this isn't coupled to the lens it's, so it's what we call uncoupled but you move this when you are taking a photograph you move this before you take the photograph to focus and this in your viewfinder you will have a double image and you move this until the two images come together and when they come together that will give you a focusing point it's interesting this camera is in feet so it was made for the UK or British Empire market um, or the American market as well um, so it's in feet it's not made for the continental market um, so you have your um, distance here you have to set your aperture manually and you have to set your um, shutter 
manually so I will go on the sunny 16 rule which I was doing today when I used the camera so you do your focus set your aperture set your s and then take and then ride on now this is another interesting feature about this camera because to ride on it has a ratchet and you actually ride back then ride forward and there's a counter now to load this film you have to obviously open the back of the camera which is a little bit stiff like opening the camera it's interesting again how you've got these little um, film bits which come out to make the loading of film more easily so you load the film manually then this is where the camera is slightly different so you load the film and there's a little red window which is normal on the back now what happens is you ratchet this on until we get one in the window you then close the window like that then holding this little button you move the knob counter clock rise not anti-clock rise and then on the side here the numbers will go down to one and it has a counter so instead of using the window so it goes to one so you hold that anti-clockwise until we get to one and then when you take your photograph right on it will move to two so you've got a counter you can check with the um, counter here as well if you wanted to with the red window but the whole idea of having a counter is you didn't use need to use the red window so this camera as i said is not in the best cosmetic condition there's a bit of rust at the top here um there's a bit coming off here which i need to glue back on i wasn't sure how the film was going to come out and when i took the film out of the camera initially i did notice that they had um bulged a little bit and i was a bit worried light had got in however it looks okay let's see what i got when i developed it the first photograph of the high street swallows is fine and initially i was quite pleased with these photographs however there was something i had missed if you look carefully it's a little bit out of focus on the right hand side this photograph is clearer and one could argue that the right hand side is a little bit out of focus here because of the depth of field it's um, um i've obviously focused into the distance this is taken at Corfe castle and it could be a little bit sharper but it is taken at about f4 on a very very dull winter's afternoon the weather here was absolutely atrocious so in one sense i'm quite pleased with these photographs they are considering the weather condition they are absolutely fine because we are using medium format um, we can enlarge to quite a size if we wanted to but there is a little bit of softness and there's definitely something happening on the edge and i think it's what was quite common with some of the slightly cheaper cameras in that you the edge of the camera wasn't always straight the um, bellows would bend in a little bit and the problem problem with the bellows bending in a little bit is you get this uneven focus i have noticed it on some folding cameras before and you might you could easily miss it when i first developed this film and looked at it from a distance it all looked fine it's only when you scan or enlarge sometimes that you actually see the true problems so this camera I can see again when why someone would actually put it into a junk auction however i've enjoyed using it and sometimes it's really quite nice not to have perfect images um i think these photos have a certain look definitely a look of a sultry dull wet off winter's afternoon but i learned something using this camera and i will look out for them before um again um hopefully in slightly better condition but if you see a bulldritch, don't write it off completely. Thanks for watching. 
Bye for now.